Hey, welcome to my channel and to another menu plan and grocery haul. Still doing Simply Filling. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump right into this menu. For Wednesday, pork chops. What does it mean when I just say pork chops? It means whatever I feel like that day. You know that if you watched last week, the sofrito sauce I bought, it hadn't come up on the menu. It might be tonight. This is Tuesday. Well, it has to be tonight because it's the last night of my menu. So tonight, because I'm filming this on Tuesday. Tonight we will try that sofrito sauce and, and I'll try to let you know in a future video how we liked it. I am hoping it is not hot. I, I still didn't get my big glasses out to read the ingredients because it's too small with just my regular glasses. Anyway, we're having some kind of pork chops with shelly beans and corn. And then Thursday, hamburger steak and country ham succotash. Just some succotash with some country ham in it. I thought that sounded good and rice, which would be brown rice. Friday is a special day. I'm doing a hobo supper because I can have that all made up and ready for David when he gets up so he'll have something to eat and something to carry to work because I wouldn't go off and leave him hanging. I, uh, no, I couldn't do that. But I'm going out to supper with my best friend's 18 year old son. You know, my best friend died five years ago this past weekend and I haven't seen his son and I guess three years and he just messaged me and said would you like to get together and go eat I'm like I absolutely would because I mean it's my best friend's son and of course I knew him growing up I just don't see him as often you know since he passed but it almost makes me cry thinking what 18 year old boy wants to hang out with the old lady <laughs> But it really does make me cry. Listen, that tells you help. If you can cry on a menu plan, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> We're going to keep going. Saturday, this is a recipe I found out of a gooseberry patch cookbook for a hash brown quiche. I was going to make it. For breakfast prep and I'm like well it's like four points so that'd be four days 16 points coming off of my weeklies and I didn't really feel like spending that many points on breakfast because I'm kind of going to have some higher points on the weekend so we're going to do that Saturday Sunday is usually my eating out day but David was talking about some chicken dumplings the other week. And I thought, well, that'll be our eating out. We'll make chicken dumplings. Now, let me tell you, I don't make my dumplings from scratch no more. This ain't the old days. <laughs> I used to make some scratch dumplings. Uh, sister girl ain't going there no more. I buy them frozen ones. And you cannot tell the difference. You can't. If I invited you to my house and said, we having chicken, dump chicken dumplings. Good old southern chicken dumplings. You'd think I rolled them out myself. I mean, they're perfectly shaped, which obviously mine would not be perfectly shaped. But taste-wise, you wouldn't know. My mama, God rest her precious soul. For years, every single family get-together, we mainly Christmas and Easter, we had to have her chicken dumplings. Best chicken dumplings on the planet. Good old Southern Mama stood there and rolled them out. Had the kitchen, I mean, every surface on that kitchen. Freezer, table, countertop, stove. Every, every inch of her kitchen was covered in dumplings. She did that for years until she got up to where she just couldn't do it no more. Her back would not hold her up to do it. So she started buying these frozen dumplings. Don't tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. Did they know the difference? No, ma'am, they did not. They ate them dumplings and loved them as good as they've been lo <laughs> loving them <laughs> all through the years. It, I mean, water and flour, it's a dumpling. You know what I mean? So if you want some good old southern dumplings, you go and find you some of them Ann's frozen ones. Yes, sir. Cook them down in some chicken broth. There you go. So that is Sunday. Monday, barbecue chicken. I'm going to just cook it, shred it, have it like pulled chicken with a baked potato. And then I'll make David some gook. And I found a recipe in one of those magazines, one of those Taste of the South magazines, 
called South Carolina slaw. And it'll be zero points for me because it don't use mayonnaise. It uses mustard. So I'm going to try that. Tuesday is hamburger mushroom gravy, one of David's favorite meals ever. He just loves that stuff. And so I'll make him some cream potatoes to put it on that. And broccoli. Huh? I got a vegetable in there. Shelly beans is a vegetable because that's green beans. And broccoli. Got me two vegetables in this week. <laughs> Listen, I'm just I'm just not fighting it no more. I'm just not forcing myself to cook and eat something that we just don't enjoy. I'll give you, let me tell you. Yeah, that's the last day. Then we'll get to the prep in a minute. I made that bag a uh, pouch of like sauce mix that you put on chicken and carrots and potatoes and you bake it in the oven. I got it from Aldi's. Smelled good when I put it on. Then yeah, it didn't have no flavor, so we, we won't be buying that again. But here's the thing. We can normally eat carrots if they're in a roast. We can eat them like that. There was something about these carrots that were the most carroty carrots on the planet. They were so strong. We couldn't even eat them. I ate one. I'm like, oh, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, can't do that. I said, taste that. He put that in his mouth. He went, <laughs> went like that. I'm like, what I tell you? So I'm just not, I'm not forcing this stuff on us just to... I'm just not doing it. I'm just going with what we like and just that's that. I don't know how else to... Uh, I'm just not buying food and trying to make us eat things that we don't like. I'm going to watch my points the way I can watch my points and fit in my foods. The funny part is the corn and the potatoes, all that's zero points. So it, it's not like I'm... Swapping out vegetable zero points for something with points. No, not all zero points are created equally, equally but I just can't do it. So, I'm just going to... Everybody that says this is a lifestyle, well, here you go. This is our lifestyle. This is how we grew up eating, and this is how we're going to continue to eat. So, that's that for my... Um, prep this week. This is a recipe I found in a church cookbook that I have. Sausage breakfast casserole. And I am going to make the turkey breakfast sausage. Because it will be zero points. You know, I love my, my niece's sausage, but it's a lot of points. And when you make turkey into the breakfast sausage, it's just as... I mean, well, I won't say it's just as good because it's not fatty pork. <laughs> but it's good. It does not taste like turkey. I don't like turkey in things. Although I might be trying some, which I don't have to because I can get 93% lean ground beef for zero points on Simply Filling. So there's not really a need for me to do turkey unless I just want to not have beef so much, especially for David's gout. So who knows? Since I, I, I found some deli turkey meat I could eat now, and I could eat the turkey breakfast sausage. I might try some turkey and some spaghetti or something. You just don't know. Stay tuned. Listen, that's a big step for me because y'all know I detest turkey. But anyway, it's just it's just another kind of breakfast casserole. You know they're all the same but different. And then lunch is quick chicken and rice. You just make and it's got broccoli in. Oh, look at that! I'm having broccoli again. I can eat it like that. It don't bother me like that. You make it on the stove top. It's a um. Campbell's recipe and it uses instant white rice but I'm going to substitute instant brown rice so I don't have to count it. That's going to be my lunch prep. And for snacks I'm just going to do what I'm doing this week. Boil some eggs I got popcorn um, I'll get me some more cucumbers which I got to make sure I got that on the list I'll get me some more cucumbers because I will eat cucumbers um, so I don't, I don't hate every single vegetable I'm just pick and choose which ones I like so anyway that is it for my menu now we'll have a Walmart haul for sure and since this is Tuesday I'm not real sure yet if I'm gonna do food line or Harris Teeter for the rest because I have a good bit of meat and produce and if I'm gonna get my meat somewhere else I might as well get my produce there too and then pick it out well no I'll let them pick it out because I'll either do pickup or Instacart pickup one or the other. So anyway, you're going to see Walmarts and somebody. So <laughs> let's
let's turn around and look at that. Okay, so this was a last minute Walmart purchase. I actually went to the store. I have been on the hunt for whole wheat noodles. My Walmart doesn't sell them. So I was searching online this morning where could I order them from. Walmart's 20 minutes away in Concord had them over at the big mall. So I'm like, first thing this morning, I wanted to wait till it got daylight. Close enough. Went to get noodles. Ended up with all this. So <laughs> whole wheat noodles are zero for me on Simply Feeling. So while I was there, since I don't, I've never, that's the first time I've ever been there. And I don't plan on going back unless I actually need something that mine doesn't have. So I went ahead and got six. If we have it once a month, I figure that's a six month supply. And then while I was there, I got two whole wheat spaghettis. Since what I got the last time was accidentally the thin spaghetti. They only had one box of the whole wheat linguine. Mine doesn't have this. I would have got more of it, but I at least got one. Then, listen, I'm out of breath. I've been dragging the other groceries in, too. <laughs> listen, that's an ordeal. We'll talk about tomorrow for David. Fat-free dressings are zero points on Simply Feeling. This is stuff I look that I forget that's in the store until I'm actually in the store, and I just went on the inside. I didn't look at anything cold or fresh because I didn't need any of that. I just thought I'd pick up some stuff while I was there. The sugar-free um, grape jelly. I'm not sure how many points that is, but it's really low. And then I stocked up on brown rice because, you know, it's zero points. We'll talk about this in a minute. Then I forgot that they had the no sugar added apple pie and cherry pie filling. I scanned these in the store. This one's like, I think, oh, my dry hands, I, I apologize. That's terrible. <laughs> Two points for a quarter cup. And the cherry one, it, it said like 85 cups were zero points. And so it, if there's a glitch on that one, I'm just going to count it the same points as this because it's made the same way. It's just cherry instead of apple. And then I keep forgetting about Alfredo sauce for some reason. I think it was like two points for a quarter cup. Something something low. For me, it sounded low. And then they had plenty of pumpkin. And since I've been making that cream of wheat bread, I used a lot of pumpkin. And it was only 88 cents. So that's cheaper than the dollar store. Oh, I've been seeing people eat this. And I thought, dill mustard, that might be, be good on that turkey I've been buying. And then while I was looking through the spices and seasoning mixes, I, I thought, well, I'll stock up on some gravy. The um, little, like, chicken and brown gravy, those are good to add to stuff that you're cooking in the crock pot just to give a little extra flavor and texture. And then I thought, well, I'd grab a couple um, country gravy mixes, too. This is a ranch chicken seasoning. The directions are exactly like cracked chicken that you use regular ranch seasoning for. But I thought... I'd give this a try. Maybe it had a little something extra in it that ranch doesn't. So we'll try that in the crock pot. This was a um, a purchase that I thought, well, give me something a little different. Banana walnut butter. I opened it and I couldn't, I, I don't see that great. And I couldn't tell it's that kind that the oil rises to the top. So anyway, I wanted to taste it before I come on here. I don't know if it's because I had chewing gum in my mouth, mini chewing gum in the car, or if it just doesn't have a flavor. It tastes like walnut butter, but to me it does not taste like banana. So I will eat it, but I would not buy it again, especially for $5.97. This was a, a treat. So that is what I've bought when I actually went to the Walmarts today. So I'm going to clear this up and put my pickup order, and we'll look at that. All right, now here is our Walmart pickup. We got our milk and almond milk and half and half for my coffee, and that half and half is for, I don't even remember. I'm looking over here on my menu, and I don't know what it's for. Maybe for my... Breakfast casserole? I can't remember, but I, I, I wrote it down and needed it for something. It Listen, a mine's a terrible thing. And then some eggs. And David's wanting to try some new yogurt. So he said the Oikos 
whatever they had without the sugar to get him the same flavor of each one. He wanted strawberry, but they didn't have it in one of them. So I got him my Oikos Triple Zero and then whatever this is, Oikos Pro with the protein. He just didn't want the sugar in it. So we're gonna, he's going to try those and see see what he thinks. And the can of lima beans is for the succotash. Now the cream of mushroom, that's like the healthy request that is Campbell's. The healthy request cream of chicken is, I like to have them on hand because I don't always feel like making my homemade. So I take the easy way out. And then I needed some more Pam. And then he wanted to try the Special K with blueberries this time instead of the red berries. And the hash browns are for my breakfast casserole. And then he needed his bread, which is the Nature's Own Whole Wheat. And I need my bread, which is the white wheat. Now this red over here, this is just for the Christmas party. Some almond, that is, yep, the almond thins and some white icing to use for a decoration. Cream cheese, this was a substitute. They were out of Walmart brand, so they substituted this for the same price and sour cream and i saw on tiktok some ham and cheese biscuits with these so she did hers in the air fryer i'm gonna do mine in the oven so that's why i got those and some shredded cheese for a cheese ball and this is for the ham and cheese biscuits i i've not bought the ham still things i need to buy but that's the rest of what i have today so next up will be food line okay so for food line we got the ground turkey. That is for my breakfast casserole. I'm going to make the breakfast sausage out of it. And I need two pounds of regular hamburger. This is 93, so that counts as simply filling. And the ham, I just get the pieces when I don't need to make a biscuit or something. Just the ham pieces for the succotash. This is something David saw on TV that he wanted to try. These sausage strips. So, they he, he said he saw them at Food Line, and sure enough, they had it. So, I got him that. They had original, and they had maple. The diced um, ham, that is for my, I'm pretty sure that's my breakfast. No, not my breakfast. It's the hash brown quiche that we're having for supper Saturday. And some bananas. This was a substitution. They didn't have the angel hair um, slaw mix, just cabbage, really. So she substituted this, and I don't need the dressing, and I don't really care for the purple things in it, but it it will all come out in the wash. <laughs> that is for my South Carolina slaw, and then green onions for, oh, those are good size. I can't remember. Listen, when I do my menus the day before, my, my video the day before, I have already forgotten what is on there. So when I look at groceries, I can't remember what this stuff is for. I do know a cucumber and the lettuce is for his gook and the other cucumber and part of that one maybe is for eating and the slaw, the carrots is for the slaw. The wheat thins, which I did not know that I got a family size. I thought I put that as a substitute, so maybe she had to substitute that too. That's for the party. And then this is a substitute. I ordered the broccoli florets in the bag. You know, I like to steam them in the bag. And they were out, so I okayed the the old-fashioned broccoli that you have to cut out of yourself. <laughs> Woe is me. And then some tomatoes. I thought, well, we'll get these little vine ripe. They're, they're pretty good. So those look pretty good today. So that is it for Food Line. That is it for me this week. I hope you're having a good hump day. And I will see you tomorrow for weigh-in. Could go either way. We will see. Okay, y'all have a good one, and I'll see you then. Okay, I'm back. I missed these in my little cart where I had to carry everything in. These are the dumplings I was telling you about. Ann's Old Fashioned Flat Dumplings. These are in your freezer section. I wish you could see what they look like. They're in sheets of three. So there's a perforated line, and there's three... Um, dumplings, if I am remembering correctly, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. <laughs> so, anyway, I really will see you tomorrow now. Okay, bye.